a content delivery network or content distribution network cdn is a geographically distributed network of proxy servers and their data centers the goal is to provide high availability and performance by distributing the service spatially relative to end users CDNs came into existence in the late 1990s as a means for alleviating the performance bottlenecks of the internet as the internet was starting to become a mission critical medium for people and enterprises since then CDNs have grown to serve a large portion of the internet content today including web objects text graphics and scripts downloadable objects media files software documents applications e-commerce portals live streaming media on demand streaming media and social media sites cdns are a layer in the internet ecosystem content owners such as media companies and e-commerce vendors pay cdn operators to deliver their content to their end users in turn a cdn pays internet service providers isps carriers and network operators for hosting its servers in their data centers cdn is an umbrella term spanning different types of content delivery services video streaming software downloads web and mobile content acceleration licensed slash managed cdn transparent caching and services to measure cdn performance load balancing multi cdn switching and analytics and cloud intelligence cdn vendors may cross over into other industries like security with ddos protection and web application firewalls waf and one optimization technology CDN nodes are usually deployed in multiple locations, often over multiple internet backbones. Benefits include reducing bandwidth costs, improving page load times, or increasing global availability of content. The number of nodes and servers making up a CDN varies, depending on the architecture, some reaching thousands of nodes with tens of thousands of servers on many remote points of presence. Others build a global network and have a small number of geographical requests for content are typically algorithmically directed to nodes that are optimal in some way. When optimizing for performance, locations that are best for serving content to the user may be chosen. This may be measured by choosing locations that are the fewest hops, the lowest number of network seconds away from the requesting client, or the highest availability in terms of server performance both current and historical, so as to optimize delivery across local networks. When optimizing for cost, locations that are least expensive may be chosen instead. In an optimal scenario, these two goals tend to align, as Z servers that are close to the end user at the edge of the network may have an advantage in performance or cost. Content Networking Techniques The Internet was designed according to the end-to-end -end principle. This principle keeps the core network relatively simple and moves the intelligence as much as possible to the network endpoints, the hosts and clients. As a result, the core network is specialized, simplified, and optimized to only forward data packets. Content delivery networks augment the end-to-end -end transport network by distributing on it a variety of intelligent applications employing techniques designed to optimize content delivery. The resulting tightly integrated overlay uses web caching, server load balancing, request routing, and content services. Web caches store popular content on servers that have the greatest demand for the content requested. These shared network appliances reduce bandwidth requirements, reduce server load, and improve the client response times for content stored in the cache. Web caches are populated based on requests from users pull caching, or based on preloaded content disseminated from content servers, push caching. Server load balancing uses one or more techniques including service-based, global load balancing, or hardware-based. Layer 4 to 7 switches, also known as a web switch, content switch, or multi-layer switch, to share traffic among a number of servers or web caches. Here the switch is assigned a single virtual IP address. Traffic arriving at the switch is then directed to one of the real web servers attached to the switch. 
This has the advantage of balancing load, increasing total capacity, improving scalability, and providing increased reliability by redistributing the load of a failed web server and providing server health check. Notable content delivery service providers example of free CDNs, CDNJS, Bootstrap CDN, Cloudflare, JS Deliver, Page CDN, Coral Content Distribution Network. Example of traditional commercial CDNs, Acom i Technologies, Amazon Cloudfront, Arika, Azure CDN, Cashfly, CD Networks, CenterServe, China Cash, Cloudflare, Cotendo, Edgecast Networks, Fastly, Google Cloud CDN, HP Cloud Services, Incapsula, Instart, Internav, LeaseWeb, Lumen Technologies, formerly Level 3 Communications, Limelight Networks, Meta CDN, Nachevi, OnApp, GoDaddy, OVH, Rackspace Cloud Files, Speeder Networks, StackPath, Streamzilla's, Wongsu Science and Technology, OTA. Example of Telco CDNs. AT&T Incorporated, Bharti Airtel, Bell Canada, BT Group, China Telecom, Chungava Telecom, Deutsche Telecom, KT, KPN, Lumen Technologies, formerly CenturyLink, Megaphone, NTT, PacNet, PCCW, Qualitinet, Singtel, SK Broadband, Spark New Zealand Citation Needed, Tata Communications, Telecom Argentina, Telefonica, Telenor, Telia Sonera, Telen, Telstra, Telus, Tim, Turk Telecom, Verizon example of commercial CDNs using peer-to-peer -peer for delivery, BitTorrent Incorporated, Internav, Pando Networks, Rawflow example of multi-CDN, Meta CDN, Warpcake, example of in-house CDN, Netflix. Thank you for watching here you can know more industry updates. For regular updates subscribe this channel and press bell icon. Leave your opinion about this video by your question. Your question motivate us for next part. Be technical, think technical.